Girl Scouts is the only organization that I know of that offers programming for very young girls, our daisies, all the way up to girls who are seniors and ambassadors. The programs build on each other, they progress. When you have the elementary school kids, um, they just look up to older, older Girl Scouts. I had the brownie beanie and the little brown dress and the little belt and the little brownie camera. Canoeing um, doesn't sound like a big deal, but it was to me at the time. I was terrified to go in that lake because there were little blood suckers that would get caught between your toes. <laughs> so overcoming that fear. One of my um, fondest memories was uh, being able to work with uh, Joe Voinovich, who was Governor Voinovich, Senator Voinovich's mother. And, you know, she was a wonderful woman, and everybody that I worked with in Girl Scouts was fabulous. Gain confidence in things and try things that I would not have done otherwise. We did a lot of camping, which was very important in our, to our troop. Making yourself comfortable in the outdoors um, and being able to not make mistakes in that kind of environment. We could swim like fish, where we could sing as loudly as we wanted, we could walk through the bushes, we could see the rattlesnake around the blackberry bushes and just run, but then we learned how to handle the snake. I mean, handle the snake. And I still remember going down in the valley in, in the metro parks now and, and uh, and having zoo day and, and um, making splatter paintings and beating things. Oh, <laughs> they all dressed up as Care Bears for a couple of years there. Making these little um, sit-ons out of vinyl and I remember going and shopping for that and finding the, the flannel to stuff it with and sewing it on a sewing machine. Laser tag and we help out at the Historical Society. We went to Stan Hewitt Hall. Doing some volunteer work in the hospital in Oberlin, Ohio, interacting with the patients and the staff there. The community service. Our girls always love to do the community service and to plan things to take care of um, other people. Once you got them together and we planned an event together, they, were, they loved every moment of it. Every other thing we did was fun and every other thing we did was to serve the community in some way. You know, whether or not you camp or the projects we worked on, it was, it was such a learning experience. I just think I grew so much from it that I would like to see that same experience for girls today. The girls learn to get, the, get along with each other and make a difference in the communities, and I think that's a big part of what we do in an informal way. So it's not, you know, pushed down anybody's throat. It's just part of how we do business and how we make a difference for the girls. I've made a lot of wonderful friends and uh, had some experiences I would have never had if I hadn't been involved. They give girls opportunities to try new things, to um, have new experiences, to find themselves, to interact with girls from different areas. You've got inner city girls, you've got suburban girls, you've got rural girls. I interacted with girls from other schools. I learned some social skills and how to interact with them. That was a very broadening experience for me community cleanups and crafts and I got to know a lot of other girls that weren't in my school. Lots of those girls will never ever go camping in their, with their families or ever have that experience of going to a campfire or being out on a night hike or um, helping other, other girls. We could come together and enjoy each other in activities that we all knew and understood because we were all getting the same kind of experiences from that little green Girl Scout book. My circle of friends went from Sandusky, Ohio to a friend from Attica. I had this dear camp friend who would get up and early in the morning and braid my hair for me. Do you know years later we became and met again in college and continue to be dear friends to this day. I have 10 fabulous 
um, Girl Scout leader friends in this particular group, and we still get together um, two or three times a year, even though people have moved to Colorado, to California, to Vermont, and we cherish the fact that we have such a close-knit relationship because of Girl Scouting. It starts out very internally driven. You have badges, you have the journey work. You, you start to um, expand your experiences. But all those things um, build up to the point when, when a girl is ready to start her bronze or her silver or her gold, she starts looking to identify uh, the needs in the community. I redesigned the Hannah Wernke Memorial Foundation Butterfly Garden. I had to find people to help donate money and plants and flowers and I got a landscaper and then I asked brownies and daisies in my community to help with the garden and actually planning it. We had planned a what we called a wildlife dance party and it was for elementary school kids and it, they did a collection for um, a woman who was doing an animal rescue here in Akron. Afterwards, they said, boy, that was a lot of work, but gosh, it was so much fun. And for them to be able to do that, and then, and then they had carloads and carloads of things to go and donate. I mean, certainly the founding or maybe the foundation of Girl Scouts might be cookies and camping. But, you know, our focus today is on making the girl be the best that she can be and giving her those tools that she needs programming and learning that the girls will need to be successful, whether it be science and technology, the STEM area. Through the financial literacy program, as well as through some of the other badge work, helps women develop problem-solving skills, which leads them to assume leadership roles in the workplace, as well as advance while they're in school and assume leadership roles while they're in school. If the girls can uh, increase their self-esteem, their, their, their confidence that they have in themselves, they're able to accomplish so much more. And the fact that the Girl Scouts are, um, you know, focused on, on math and on sciences and, and on uh, wellness um, are all very, uh, I think, 20th, 21st century oriented programs uh, that will really develop um, our Girl Scouts of today into the leaders of tomorrow. It is a movement. It's constantly going to change for the better to make sure that we are ready and delivering to every Girl Scout that we have or could have. The world is going to continue being more complex and there will be an opportunity for girls to demonstrate how they can integrate what they know, who they are to be able to believe in themselves, to conquer their fears, uh, to be organized, to understand what it means to be involved in your community. Be able to step up and take a leadership position as they get older. If we look at our leaders today, so many of them came from Girl Scout backgrounds. It gave me the confidence to put myself out there, gave me the confidence to uh, know that there was a, a place in an organization where I could be um, who I was and accepted in a community and in order to interact in the world of today and tomorrow, you have to be able to have those people's skills. It would have been so much easier for me to have developed as a, as a woman in business and a woman in leadership if I had had the tools that the Girl Scouts have today. They have so far so much more that they can do in this world. The world is open to them and that gives them an advantage. Those are women that are going to be our future leaders, I am convinced. It's an organization that's been around for 100 years. It has changed and grown through the years, I think, to, to meet the needs and uh, the growing dynamic of the aspirations of our young girls. To discover themselves and find out their potential. I've watched and seen the, the ex the, the positive impact that Girl Scouting can have on young girls and uh, I've seen it carry through to young womanhood. To be able to provide programming and activities that help girls learn to be part of a team, work and pull their own weight and recognize their own values 
and learn to get along, and that's half of what we have to do in the world. I would like to see every girl at least experience a small slice of Girl Scouts.